All right, what is going on, people? Of the internet, welcome back to the episode of Arx Volleyball Max Speed, and finally, I am so happy to be back. I've had countless amounts of computer problems over the past couple days. I got some new parts. I reinstalled everything. For those of you who wanted to know what my computer parts were and were requesting a build video to see how I run Arc so well, that will probably be coming in the future because I can do that now because my computer is finally working and it's amazing. So I'm sorry for taking so long, but the wait is over. Now, it's been some a good amount of suggestions for our videos. We've got the Plesiosaur, which I was planning on doing, actually, because I wanted to make this one a little bit special. When I was planning on doing the Plesiosaur, namely because I thought it would be really cool, because that thing has the potential to beat the Ichthy, which is no short task. But unfortunately, we couldn't do that, because there was no command to summon the Plesiosaur listed on the website. Maybe they'll update it in the future, maybe not. So I've got a new world here. I've rebuilt Bagel 2.0. So, he's, he's, he's doing well. He, he came over with us, so it's no problem. We didn't lose him. He's just a little, little different. And it's still snowy, which is, I, I don't know, it's kind of cool. But myself and Sharky have been working on the tower defense world. I think we might have lost it, but it's okay, because it was a learning experience. We're going to rebuild it bigger and better, not that we even think it could have been, because it actually seems like we did a really amazing job. Anyway, we're doing the Rex. That is the max speed we're looking at today. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King, the undisputed king of, uh, okay, maybe that's a Giganotosaurus, but that's beside the point. The T-Rex is the staple for dinosaurs. When you think of the T-Rex, what do you think? Or when you think of dinosaurs, what do you think of? You usually think of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Maybe you'll think of a trike or a stego. Those are also good, but in reality, what is the king of the dinosaurs? That is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's pretty much undisputed. You can't really argue that the Spino is the face of dinosaurs when you have this thing around. That's right. We got the T-Rex. I'm, I'm really happy about this because, you know, we haven't quite... Uh, we haven't had this before. We've had the Alpha T-Rex, but strangely nobody suggested the regular T-Rex. So we're going to go ahead and look at its stats here. You can see we've got over 7k health and over 413% melee damage. The melee damage is pretty good. It's not bad by any means, but it's not amazing. I think we got a lot of, a lot of health, though. This is a high roll. As well as 1,200 stamina, that's pretty good. But you can see 1,200 stamina, while that sounds impressive, in theory, isn't actually that much in practice. You can see here, I'm already down to half, and all I've done is waddle over to this Paraceratherium. So we're going to go ahead and take a few nips out of it, just to see what 400% melee damage really means, and it's not actually that impressive. I really feel that if the Giganotosaurus is as strong as it is, maybe the Rex could use a bit of a buff, because, I don't know. When I'm in early game and I've got my trike, running around the map and I can take on a T-Rex one-on-one. I'm a little concerned for the T-Rex's well-being. So we're gonna go ahead and give it its max levels here. I've made a couple errors in the commands, but of course, as always, all the commands will be in the description if you want to use them yourselves. And we're gonna go ahead and give this thing max movement speed. And its level per movement speed is actually only, or movement speed per level is 2.5%, meaning we're gonna get this thing up to a healthy 250% around there. 247.5, I do believe, is the number that we managed to get to. Not bad at all. And what does that mean for its speed? Well, this is its new walking speed. That's probably as fast as it was sprinting before. And this is its new sprinting speed. That's pretty damn good. I mean, this is a viable mount. You can see it has no problem killing everything around the map. If you choose to do this with a T-Rex, it's not going to be your go-to alpha killer. You probably won't have any problems with Carnos and Raptors. But if you plan to take on another alpha T-Rex, you'd probably be wise not to do this. Because you don't have the health. Actually, the health for this one isn't bad. 7k health isn't terrible for an alpha Rex killer. If you have a, uh, if you have a Pteranodon that you specialize in killing other alphas with, you'd probably be fine having 7k health. That's probably excessive, but you got to keep in mind how big this T-Rex is versus how big the Pteranodon is and how fast the Pteranodon is. Once you do this, you pretty much remove the T-Rex's dominance factor. It's an excellent baseline stats, but you don't have that headway to give itself 2,000% melee damage, 3,000% melee damage, or something insane like that, which I actually have done before. Now this T-Rex is actually pretty impressive on land, but, you know, a common theme in these videos is how good it is underwater and maybe the T-Rex is going to be the first one to break that trend. It, it, we've always seen quite impressive movement speeds in the water. You know, you take something that's kind of slow on the land, say like a turtle, and you put it back in the water, it's faster. Obviously that makes sense because it's a turtle, but maybe the T-Rex also does this or maybe it's going to be the first one to buck the trend. And you know what? It's not good. 
It's really not, and that's fine. You can't turn this into a water mount. You can't even argue that this could be a water mount. This is really just gonna make you cross rivers faster. That's really it. Sometimes when you're in a T-Rex, crossing rivers can be a bit of a pain. But I guess now that kind of has been negated by the max speed. It's nothing spectacular. You're not going to take this thing underwater and go hunt megalodons with it. It's probably got the stamina to drown itself after a couple seconds of being in the water. But you know what? It's something. So that's pretty much going to do for us. If you got suggestions for the next video, you can leave them in the comments. I'm so happy to be back. We should be putting out more videos and probably a trailer for the tower defense. So if you want to do that, and trust me, we've got so many great ideas for that. It's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. Join the Steam group, and we'll see you in the next episode of Arc Survival Evolve Max Speed. I'm so happy to be back, finally. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!